Hey, Shalom on Ms. Rel. First off, I just want to say, uh, call her law, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. I want to give a double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And just want to say, Shalom on peace and blessings to you, sincere Aki, and pushing his word and, and faithfulness and sincerity and truth. Uh, I just wanted to go into a few uh, scriptures just on the importance of uh, just storing up basically your treasure, you know, in spiritual things, basically, and, and being delivered. And then, of course, uh, the, the inheriting the kingdom, you know what I'm saying? Because this world, as we know it, Great Babylon, you know what I'm saying? That the Edomite rulership that's in power right now, man, it's a, it's about to be torn down. Even right now, you got uh, uh, the government has a shutdown. So that's going to affect a lot of things for people, especially at this time, because at uh, this time of the year, you know, our people, the nation of Israel, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, uh, it's tax season. And most of you depend on, you know, that tax return to get yourself back in shape, pay off debts or whatever the case may be from, you know, splurging and spending money that you don't have, you know, during these pagan holidays. And even for you uh, other nations, you so-called white people and you other nations, man, this government shutdown is going to affect you. But the minute of the Lord, you know, we, we praise the most high when we see things like this happen, you know, because these are basically just spiritual contractions that's going to lead up. You know, to the ultimate fall of this place. So the point that I'm trying to emphasize in this quick lesson is just, you know, we ain't really uh, feeling no type of way about losing certain things here. Now, that's not to say uh, for brothers to have an excuse to be lazy or not work, you know, and get your daily bread. That's not what I'm saying. But you really shouldn't be uh, focused on hoarding up uh, things on this side, man. Basically uh, trying to build yourself up uh Setting up 401ks and retirement plans, you know, because this is a sinking ship. This whole economy is CTD is circling the drain. So that's why we go out, you know, putting these shows up on the highways and the byways, preaching the word. You know, we making ourselves a sacrifice to to, to inherit the kingdom. But I'm going to just go ahead into a scripture. This is here in Philippians, the third chapter. And I'll start at the seventh verse. It says, but what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Hamashiach. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, my Lord. So, yeah, we count all things lost on this side, man, to gain the kingdom, man, you know. So the things that are gained to us, even carnal things that may be of benefit to us in the flesh, man, you know, we really forsake these things big picture wise. You know, in order to, to, to gain the excellency of the kingdom, man, to, to be uh, delivered when the Lord returns. But I'm, I'm going to read that again. This is Philippians uh, 3 and 8. It says, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung that I may win Hamashiach. So if you go up further in the chapter, you know, Paul. You know, he was saying that he was a Pharisee of Pharisees, you know, circumcised on the eighth day of the stock of Israel, you know. Uh, so Paul, you know, he had uh, what you would know as uh, credentials and, and status, you know, within the Roman Empire. But, you know, on the road to Damascus, when he was knocked off the high horse and Yahweh Shah was revealed unto him, man, his whole mission from that point on was to gain uh, Hamashiach. You know what I'm saying? So he he forsook everything, you know, in his ministry of of of, of preaching uh Yahweh Shah to those uh Israelite foreigners who would be referred to as the Gentiles. But the point I'm making, even in the kingdom that we in today, the, the modern day Roman Empire, man, we seeing uh certain signs that the most high is confirming through the spirit that this place is about to go down. So brothers really shouldn't be trying to build up in this place, man. You know, we always say that we pilgrims passing through. So, you know, you just get what you need to sustain yourself, to, to, to help the body and to push this word in the ministry, man. But other than that, you really shouldn't be trying to build up, you know, a heavy foundation in this place, man, because it's all temporal and it's going to be destroyed, man. And you got, you know, all types of rumors of wars. And even right now in the Middle East, man, over uh, in Syria, you know, you got Syria and Turkey. You know what I'm saying? Which is really uh, the U.S. and Russia, you know, through proxy armies, uh, 
basically setting up is is building up to the uh, World War Three, you know, because uh, over there in the Valley of Yahweh Shapat, the Valley of the Most High's Judgment, you know, he's drawing all of those different nations to that region, man, you know. But also on the home front, domestically, you know, America is, is going to uh, erode from inside out, you know. And we're seeing it right now with the whole government shutdown. And people can say, like, man, that's happened before, you know, whatever the case may be. But it's different this time, man, you know. And it's just because we're at the end of that time. But I was looking for another scripture in this same chapter. So hold on. It's actually back in, uh, I'm actually hit another scripture, brothers. So really, we should just be content with what we have, just doing the work, being able to, you know, if opportunity allows, help brothers, but really shouldn't be trying to focus on no five-year, no 10-year plan to try to, you know, uh, to try to basically, uh, Enhance your captivity, so to speak, man. Because this place is about to go down. I'm, yeah, here it goes. I'm going to start here. This is uh, first, uh Timothy chapter 6, verse uh, verse 6. It says, but godliness with contentment is great gain. So, you know what I'm saying? Godliness, being righteous, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, being occupied in the will and instruction of the Heavenly Father with contentment, that's great gain, man. So forsaken things on this side, taking losses for Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? For righteousness sakes on this side, suffering as a Christian, man, in the in the end, it's going to be great gain, even though it seems like when brothers take L's now, you know, making sacrifices for this thing of ours, you got to look at the big picture. I'll read it again. This is, says, it says, uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 6, it says, but godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out, man. So, you know, that's vanity, even with those damn, uh, heathens like the hamites you know when they would die they would try to bury certain valuable things and uh jewels and and gold or whatever you know but that's vanity man because the scripture says we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out it says in having food and raiment let us be there with content so i mean that's simple to the point man you know just having the basic necessities of life that you need to sustain your stuff in this hellhole and just get by from day to day until the most high brings this place down. You should be content with that, you know. Uh, but I wanted to get another part. I'm going to jump down further in this uh, chapter. This is First Timothy 6 and, uh, and 17. It says, charge them that are rich in this world, you know what I'm saying, that they be not high minded. You know, and that's what we doing all through the spirit, you know, that the most high has us in preaching his word, man, telling the truth, man. We charge them that are rich in this world, you know, because the love of the world of this world, that's enmity with the Lord, man. You know, like we're supposed to be opposed to this world. And at the same time, this world is going to be against us, man. So we charge them that, that are rich in this world, man, you know, whether it be. They have like physical riches or have some type of clout and backing in this side, man, you know, because people, you know, in this world that have certain things, certain benefits, certain privileges, man, that brings pride. And the scriptures tell you that pride goes before destruction. But the point I wanted to get here in verse 17, it says, nor trust in uncertain riches, you know. So just going back uh, with the whole situation with that government shutdown, you know. Which is going to affect most likely, you know, even me and other brothers, man, you know, because some brothers have to, you know, rely, you know, on getting that tax return to pay down certain debts and, and, and you know, maybe kind of reset your situation. But the scripture says here, man, trust, it says nor, trust in, uh, nor trust in uncertain riches. So you're not supposed to trust in uncertain riches, man, because like I was saying earlier, man, everything is, is vanity. Everything is temporal on this side, man. But you suppose, but it says, but in the living power, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. So that's what we're supposed to bank on, man. The prophecies that are most high come to pass, man. It says, but in the living power, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. And really, that's talking about in the kingdom, man. You know, because we ain't going to really uh, live out uh, richly 
and we ain't gonna enjoy things on this side now that's not to say it's not gonna be small instances where brothers enjoy things of this earth that's not what i'm saying but as a whole collectively for the most part you're just gonna be a damn slave man you know just a hamster on a wheel you know and more so because we know what's gonna happen man we know that this place is gonna fall man even though it they they put it on the the, the dow jones you know it, it's it's reached uh, above twenty six thousand. we know that that's all you know uh hyped up man it's all rigged man it's just numbers on the board so to speak but this system is not set up to last man you know it's it's like it's just a big ass economic bubble that you know is is bound to burst at any time you know so that's why brothers really you got to prepare you got to build your mind up in the lord man it says i'm gonna read this again first uh timothy 6 and 17 it says charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches and that goes for brothers who have may have a little bit more man you got to keep things in perspective man knowing that this shit ain't gonna last man you know and you really can't bank on anything uh that you got going in this setup man you know it says but in the living power who giveth us richly all things to enjoy you know and i'm gonna keep reading through it says verse 18 that they do good that they be rich in good works <laughs> it says that they do good that they be rich in good works so that's what we're supposed to be uh trying to be rich in and doing good works being uh charity or charitable because the scriptures also says that uh charity edifies the main charity you know that we should be ready to give up is uh preaching his word man because the scripture says buy the truth and sell it not so that's the main way you know that we disperse uh riches you know amongst the the the, the, the fellow elect servants man is being ready to preach this word feeding the elect and also you know anything that you're blessed with on this side you know to, to help another brother in this thing man you know i'm gonna read this again uh first timothy 6 and 18 it says that they do good that they be rich in good works ready to distribute willing to communicate man so all of these things consist of a brother you know that's of the hopeful elect uh within this ministry man within the body you got to be ready to distribute you know whatever the most high give you you know whatever portion uh the most high allow you to be able to distribute you got to be willing to communicate man you know it says verse 19 laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come so by doing these things man by being rich and doing good works you know what i'm saying you're laying up for yourself a good foundation against the time to come and we know that the time to come you know it's the time of jacob's trouble you know what i'm saying the beginning of sorrows great babylon you know d destruction is is drawing near so we want to lay a good foundation against the time to come i'm actually going to read this again first timothy 6 and 19 it says laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life so that's why you know uh, paul when i read in uh, philippians the third chapter he said he counted all things lost to gain the excellency of yahweh Shah, you know because that's how uh, salvation and that deliverance is going to uh, draw forth and then you know of course translate into the kingdom of heaven you know but right now this is the time to lay up that foundation you know against the time to come that we may lay hold on that eternal life man so really man shit in this world man you shouldn't really get all messed up when you see certain uh things man uh, of course the prophets you know the, the men of the lord when we see government shutdowns we see uh these nations uh uh, uh sending airstrikes you know when we see world war three you know brewing up man hey that in the spirit we rejoice man because we know that these things uh must happen in order for uh our deliverance and you know uh, us to get out of this captivity the the sooner you know but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another scripture here just thought of in the spirit just bear with me one moment <clears throat> i think it's in the book of ecclesiastes i think it's ecclesiastes chapter 12 and i'll just start at the top oh this is ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse one this is important also too man because this truth man this word is it's, it's it's been out man ever since 
the spirit, you know, was placed on the apostles and the elders to start putting up those videos on YouTube around 2007, man. You know, we looking at shit going on 11 years since that time. So this word, man, is gone forth. So for guys that, you know, know this word and, and understand and believe, man, you know, you can't, the scripture says, make notarian to come to the Lord. And a lot of guys that's kind of, you know, spectating from the outside that know that this is the truth is because they're afraid to lose things on this side, man. And that's another reason why I'm putting up this show, man. You have to lose on this side to, to gain your have a shot, man, to gain the kingdom. That's how you store up your, your, your riches in heaven, man. You know, that's how you lay that, that, that foundation, man, to receive that eternal life, man, by denying things on this side. Because at the end of the day, man, it's all going to be destroyed, man. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, remember now, thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. So really, also, uh, we got a, a period of, of what's called grace. You know, which grace, you know, it's just a, it's a period of time allotted to get yourself in order, you know, before judgment. So we're in that time right now. It says, remember now, thy creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. So this is the time to lay that spiritual foundation of doing good, man, being charitable in the work of the Lord, man. So when that time comes, man, you'll have that covering, you know, when all that drug judgment and that evil, you know, comes comes to this place, man. You know, it says, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them. So the time that we're coming into now, man. It ain't going to be no pleasure in these days. You know, it's already hell, you know, going from day to day now, man. You know, being in slavery, having women ruling over you, man. Seeing all types of uh, perverseness and wickedness being perpetuated in this place, man. We already don't have no pleasure in these days, but it's going to get excruciatingly worse, man. So now is the time to put off this world, man, and make sacrifices for the Lord, you know. It says... While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, you know. So it's just going to be a dark time, man, you know. The scripture says, and I believe uh, Amos, the fifth chapter, woe unto them that desire the day of the Lord. Because you've got these churches, these damn fake phony pastors in these churches. They're not preparing our people uh, for the judgment that's to come, you know. They're not shepherds to the flock. Basically warning our people that they need to get themselves in order that they need to come back to the most high man Because all our hell is about to come to the earth man great Babylon America that great city, you know Hey, it's about to be touched man And all everybody's situation man is gonna drastically change man I'm gonna keep reading the points in uh, verse 3 it says in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the, and the strong men shall bow themselves. And we're seeing that right now, man. The keepers of the house, you know, they're fearful. That's why you got the government shut down. I read this article in USA Today. They was talking about Democrats and Republicans. You know, they going back and forth arguing, which that's all BS anyway, man. But the scriptures also say that a, a divided house, it shall not stand. So we're in that time right now, man, you know. These these so-called higher ups and 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 and, and leaders and, and government officials, man, they don't know what is what, man, which way to go. You know? But it says, uh, and the grinders cease because they are few. And that's talking about, you know, these jobs, man. You know, we already seen like a few weeks ago, uh, I think it's Sam's Club, you know, they, they shut down, you know, a lot of warehouses. So that means that you're going to have a, a lot more people unemployed, man. So, you know, when, you know, Jake talk about they grind and that's talking about the ability to work and earn, man. You know, that's going to be uh, uh, taken away, you know. So that government shutdown, that's just one, uh, you know, one of those birth pains that's showing that, that this prophecy is, is drawing close, man, when the grind is going to cease. It says, because there are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened, man. Because you're going to see a lot of just shutdowns all over the place, man. Businesses, all of these different retail shops and stuff, man. You know, we're just in that time, man. Uh, this bubble, you know, it, it's, about to, it's about to burst, man. We, we looking at a time we're coming into just like it was in Venezuela, man. Where it's going to be a hyper 
inflation, man, to where things that you need to get by, just basic necessities, man, you ain't going to be able to afford, you know? So, uh, hold on, it's, it's something else I wanted to get real quick. But I'm going into just more emphasis on why, man, you don't need to really be occupied and trying to, you know, bank, stack bank and, you know, hoard up, you know, physical money on this side. Even though we know that money is a defense and you got to get your daily bread, man. It's time to build up spiritually right now, man. You should be more focused on what your spiritual bank account looks like. You know, because all of this crap, man, it's all going to end, man. And we hope uh, sooner than later, man, that these prophecies come to pass, that this place go down. Even though brother's situation is going to change, brother's going to suffer, you know, we're going to be placed in uncomfortable situations. But if that brings us closer to deliverance in the kingdom, so be it, man. Uh, it's a lot here. I think it's around 18. Oh yeah, okay This is uh, St. Matthew chapter 6 verse 19 It says Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth Where moth and rust doth corrupt And where thieves break through and steal So you're not supposed to lay up for yourselves treasures upon this earth man Because I read in 1 Timothy the 6th chapter man For we brought nothing into this world And it is certain that we can carry nothing out man so to hell with this place, man, or anything that you consider gain in this place, man, it's all going to be destroyed, man. You know, it says verse 20, it says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. So what we uh, are building, man, uh, the, the spiritual treasures that we're setting for ourselves in heaven, man, uh, nothing on this side will be able to take that away from us, man. You know, so we got a job to do and someone has to do this, man. And just furthermore, that diligence that's being showed, that gives that hey, that gives us hope that hey, we, we may be those men if we endure to the end. You know, like it says in Matthew, the 24th chapter, uh, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. You know, verse 21, it says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So basically. Where your treasure is, that's where your mind is going to be occupied in, man. So, brothers, you know, it's okay for certain brothers who may be more business-oriented uh, and may have a, a plan to make some money, you know. I'm not saying don't do that, but you got to keep things in perspective, man. And your mind, uh, first and foremost, man, your primary uh, thought process should be uh, towards the, the prophecies coming to pass, doing the will of the Heavenly Father, and uh, for Yahweh Shah to make his return, man, to bring down this kingdom so we can get our kingdom, you know. So with that being said, hopefully this was edifying the brothers, man. Just keep everything in perspective, man, you know, because it's a lot of demons in this place. And even it tells you in Matthew, the fourth uh, chapter, how uh, even Satan, he tried to tempt Yahweh Shah with certain advantages and riches of the world, man. But Yahweh Shah, man, you know. Even at his lowest point, man, he didn't succumb. So we got to be in that same mindset, man. Just knowing that this place, man, it, hey, it's, 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 it's basically, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's, it's, it's imminent, man. The destruction of this place is imminent. So why would you want to build up, you know, in something that's going to be destroyed, man? You just get what you need out of this place and just be content with that. So with all being said, you know, hopefully it was edifying to brothers. Just want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace and blessings to you, sincere Akim. Keep pushing this word. Shalom.